Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Hello beautiful dragons! I am your host Heather and today we are starting the first playthrough for the channel which is Nancy Drew The Haunting of Malloy Castle. Nancy Drew is a point and click mystery game. I have played many of them and yeah. As you can see there are many. Uh, this is number 19 but there are several afterwards. So yeah, let's have a look at the case file. I don't need to do how to do, how to do how to be a detective. I'm uh, I'm I'm well versed, well versed on how to be a detective in this game. I'm pretty sure. When Kyler Mallory called me from her home in London and asked me to be her maid of honor, I was a little reluctant. After all, I hadn't seen her since she stayed with us as an exchange student a couple of years ago. But when she told me the wedding is going to take place at an old family castle in Ireland, <laughs> how could I say no? The wedding will be very small, but Kyler still needs help with all the final preparations, which means she'd like me to arrive several days early. So I'm going to fly to Dublin, rent a car, and meet Kyler at Castle Malloy. She warned me that the place is somewhat in need of repairs, whatever that means, and unfortunately by the time I get there it'll be night. But I've never been to Ireland before, and I've never even seen a real honest to goodness castle, let alone stayed in one. So the fact that it may be dark and run down just makes it more of an adventure. And you know me, whenever the question is who wants to go on an adventure, my answer is always, I do. Okay, I did not expect Nancy to start reading that, but uh, I guess that saves me having to read it, doesn't it? I've noticed that I've got a coin purse in the corner, which means this must be one of those games where I have money management. It's not money management, but it's just, you know, I can only do certain things if I, if I pay. Well, I guess that's it. Let's, uh, let's get started. Let's fly to Dub um, to Dublin, shall we? Always junior detective. Flying over the sea. Please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Thank you. I've taken a flight from Dublin. So your plane was on time, your luggage arrived, your rental car was waiting. Everything went without a hitch? Yep, and according to Kyler's directions, I'm within two kilometers of Castle Malloy. Now stop worrying about me and get over to the Dunhills. What time is it there? Around two. The party just started. It's gonna go all day, so I've got plenty of time. Are you driving? Yes, Ned, I'm talking on my cell phone while I'm driving, but it's okay. There's absolutely no traffic. And I think I see the gates. I gotta go. Say hi to the Dunhills for me and have fun. Without you? Yeah, right. Take care, Nancy. <gasps> oh, no! Wow. Oh my. What was okay. that? Well, Nancy, that's what you get for, um... Oh god, I've never done this before. Uh, that's what you get for talking on your phone while driving. What? Oh. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, should... I will take that thing that I just found. That is the most convincing sheep I have ever seen. Truly, I'm amazed. Honestly, come on, let's go, Nancy. This, this must be the way. Oh, no, this must be the way to the castle, right? The bridge, the lights. Nancy, I don't like going through the dark. Don't you have like a torch or something? Oh, okay. Um, this must be the. <laughs> Why is that a section like that? Hello. Oh, 
Oh, I, uh, um, hello, I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here for the wedding. The wedding's been called off. So go on back to where you come from. No, wait, please. My car's in the ditch by the gate. I can't go anywhere. Walk down the road to the inn, then. Give me your keys, and I'll see to your car in the morning. I left the keys in the car. Can I at least talk to Kyler? She's sleeping. No, wait. I came all the way from the States. You cannot stay here. Go to the inn, I said. Now off with you. Please, can I come in just for a minute? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Rude. I'm the maid of honor. How dare you? Let me in. Hello? Hello? Oh, Nancy, we can't know. I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna keep doing it. Kyler? Are you in there? Hello? I'm not leaving. Please, come to the door! Hello? One more time? Are you gonna Kyler? let me in? Are you in there? Hello? I can't seriously have to turn around. What? Go to the inn like the guy at the- What? For the night, go through the- alright. Well, Check. I went through the gate and followed the wallway to the castle. I don't want to walk back. Um. There's somebody up there. I'll there bet is. it's Kyler. Hello? I can- why are there sheep everywhere? Ooh, what's this? Oh, I'm throwing stones, I see. Kyler! Okay, apparently that was too high. Oh my goodness. Nancy! You've got more of a throw than I thought! There we go. No? Okay. I'm gonna end up smashing this window. Uh -oh. That's what I thought. Okay. Is it okay for me to... Okay. Apparently Kyla's not upset that I smashed her window. Normally that'd get me sent home. Deaf are you now? I told you, you cannot be staying here. Hello, what are you doing? That's Nancy Drew, my maid of honor. Let her in. Mm-hmm. Take that. Matt's disappeared? How can somebody you came all the way out here with to marry just disappear? He hasn't disappeared for good. You have to understand, Matt's a bit of a prankster, and the wedding is still days away. Oh, do I want to ask? He's, he disappeared as a prank? You mean, oh, you you mean, mean the wedding, the hasn't, wedding called. hasn't been called off? Absolutely not. He'll show up. Mind you, it may not be till I've started down the aisle, but he'll show, saying he just wanted to make this a wedding no one shall ever forget. Yeah, but disappearing is, is a bit out there, don't you think? No man told me the wedding was off. Well, why yeah, did why that did man at the me? door tell me the wedding was off? That was the caretaker, Donald Delaney. Not Donald, mind you. There's no D at the end, so it's pronounced Donal. That's the way you're supposed to spell it. Which is to say that's the way the Irish spell it. Proud of his heritage, huh? Indeed. Which would be tolerable if his love for the Irish wasn't accompanied by an abiding distaste for the British. Now, he rather likes me, but... That's only because he considers me to be Irish, since I'm directly related to the man who used to own this place. When it comes to my British fiancé, Donald detests him. Which is why he was so quick to tell you the wedding's off. He wants it to be off. He came right out and said, if I am to be married in Castle Malloy, it simply must be to an Irishman. Said my marrying a Brit would upset the fairy people, or whatever he calls them. Hmm. Donald, you... You are very proud of your heritage, and I, 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 well, at least Nancy is American. Postponed, do you have any idea? Do okay, you have any idea where Matt disappeared to? No, but I know he didn't go far. The fact is, sometimes I hear him. You know, his voice. It's very faint and muffled, but it sounds like he's calling to me, saying things I can't quite make out, teasing me the lout. So I know he's somewhere close by. He'll be here for the wedding. I'd stake my life on it. Of course, I remember well your penchant for solving mysteries. 
So if you want to give this one a go, by all means do. You could start in the nursery. It's down the hall. That's where Matt had set up his cot and was spending most of his time. Find him, Nancy. Having my maid of honor ruin this silly vanishing trick of his would teach him a lesson he sorely needs. I mean, sh well, of course, you know, my name, I am Nancy Drew, detective. I'm keep I someone ran out in front of my Okay, let's talk about, oh, we can talk about the Banshee. We can talk, ask about Mr. Delaney. Be here by yourself. What are you doing in here if you don't mind my asking? Do I want to talk about the Banshee yet? Um, let's ask about Mr. Where Delaney. Where does Mr. Delaney live? All I know is, he comes at dawn and leaves at sunset. I can't fathom what he does all day, but he always seems to be puttering away at something. When he's not working, he spends most of his time down the road at the Screaming Banshee Inn. How long has, How been long has he been the caretaker? I don't know that either. A long time, I should imagine, seeing as he more or less came with Grandpapa's estate. I should let him go. All he ever talks about are banshees and fairies and leprechauns. And he can be quite obstinate, as you saw at the door. But if Grandpapa saw fit to put up with him all those years, I suppose I can too. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go play detective now. Uh, what are you doing in here? Does it bother Does you, it to, bother be you to be here all by yourself? Actually, Matt's best friend Kit Foley is here too. He set up a cot in the Great Hall downstairs. When did he arrive? We all came out together. Okay. What are you doing in here, if you don't mind my asking? Reading. About myself, in a way. You see, until my grandpapa died and left me this place, not only did I have no idea that this castle existed, but I had no idea my real name was not Mallory, but Malloy. Apparently, Grandpapa changed his name 50 years ago, so no one would find out he was Irish. A curious thing to do. Yeah, Why didn't he me? want people to find out he was Irish? I think it had something to do with his brother, Brendan, the man who owned this place and was living here when it exploded during World War II. He was rumored to have been a double agent, supposedly doing top-secret research for the Allies, but in truth, passing his findings onto the Axis. Not exactly hmm. a brother you want people to know about. If the rumors were true. Anyway, ever since I found out I'm a Malloy, I can't stop reading about Ireland. So many different people have populated this country at one time or another. The Celts, the Druids, the Gaels. It's all quite fascinating. Hmm. All these books were Brandon's? I can't be certain, but I assume so. He was quite the inventor, I do know that. Everything that remains in this place seems as if it's been tinkered with. Even his daughter's dollhouse, of all things. Hmm. Well, that looks like fun. So there's going to be a lot of puzzles, but that's typical. Mechanical puzzles, maybe then, to say? Someone ran out in front of my car on my way here and caused me to drive into a ditch. Are you alright? Me, I'm fine. My car and my cell phone, uh, not so good. And I'm pretty sure whomever I saw dropped this. Looks like some kind of homemade doll. The clothes. It looks like Matt. And that's his ring. What did the person who dropped this look like? I didn't really get a good look. It was dark and I was distracted and it moved so fast. Frankly, I'm not even sure if what I saw was a person. Denal. The caretaker. When we realized Matt was gone, straight away Denal claimed Matt had been kidnapped by fairies. Which is, of course, utterly ridiculous. It was probably Matt himself you saw, tricked out in some costume and leaving that doll behind just to confound us. Well, I do hope he's enjoying himself because as soon as we're married, that will be that. No more practical jokes. Ever. That's not the basis for a healthy relationship, darling, if he likes practical jokes. Just saying. Um, well, that's interesting. That it looks like Matt. Saying that it was, air quotes, Banshee. A Banshee, supposed to be. Probably hear all about it from Denol. When you said you sometimes hear Matt, where are you when that happens? In here? 
In here, in the nursery, sometimes outside. His voice is always very muffled and very, very faint, so I can never tell where it's coming from or, or what he's saying. But it's Matt, I'm sure of it. Has Mr. Delaney ever heard him? If he has, he won't admit it. He says the fairies, or whoever took him, would never allow such a thing. Straight away, he said Matt was gone and was never coming back. So when I heard his voice, it dawned on me he was playing one of his outlandish pranks. <laughs> I was furious with him, but truth be told, it was also a bit of a relief. I'll let you get back to your reading. <clears throat> the five months I spent living with you, your dad, and Hannah, and Togo, of course. That was a very happy time for me, Nancy. I can't tell you how thrilled I am you're here. I get to see you again, and I get to see Ireland? <laughs> I'm the one who's thrilled, believe me. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. I'm your maid of honor, remember? I haven't forgotten. Wait, so if I don't have my phone, does that mean I can't call Matt? Oh, not Matt. That's the name of the guy. I mean Ned. Ned. I can't call Ned. My companion throughout every other game, pretty, pretty much. Figure out how to get Kyla's attention. All yeah, done. that. Sorry, this is my task list, so you all know, and it's good to go through and like check things off when you've done them. Go in the front check. door. Yes. That's the caretaker. He must. Okay, I haven't seen that. See everything we're seeing in the room. We're in the library. Okie dokie. I don't have anything in my inventory. I have phone number. Oh, I must be able to call Ned and Bess and George. These are observations, clues, suspects. Okay. Let's look around the library. Ooh, constellations. Lovely. What's here? I have a vase. Okay. Oh. Oh. I will leave that alone for now. Uh, can I look in? Nope, can't look in any of those drawers. Okay. What's to the left? Ooh. Okay. I don't know what to do with those yet. Hmm. Alright, so that's to help do that puzzle. This is useless. It's not lit. Wow, Nancy, wow. Okay, you know you could light it. Okay, that's another puzzle. Um, oh, fire, how lovely. I can't enjoy that. Are those my bags? I can't look if those are my bags. Let's go through that door. Whoa, that would have been quite a fall. Okay, let's not go through that door. Could have told me that that went to my death there. Oh, this is necessary. Oh, it's a magpie. Thanks. Bye. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, glasses. Broken glasses. That would imply this isn't just a prank if he's got his broken glasses there, unless of course they're not his. Evil returns to the evil doer. Oh, this isn't. Is this the This isn't the nursery. Is it? See not what you see and hear not what you hear. Helpful. This is all covered in cobwebs. I don't think Nancy wants to touch those. Ooh. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, what was that noise? Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I probably should save actually. <laughs> you need to save save regular <laughs> regularly on Nancy Drew because you might accidentally do something and like, oh Nancy's going home. Oh whoop, Nancy died. 
Truth speaks even through the tongue. We dead. Okay, you Banshee, you need to calm down. I am just looking at things in a room. A silent mouth is sweet to hear. Rude. Ooh. Oh, that's an easy, that's a puzzle I can easily do. Um, I'll do that puzzle, I'll do that puzzle. Let's do the puzzle, which I can't move that one, okay. Hmm, can I rotate them? I have to move me up and down. Right to circle round and round. Oh, I can! Fantastic. Oh, that's not how, that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works. We should figure out what these ones are first. And then... And then, and then do that. Okay, so that fits together. Oh wait, I need two. Mm. Okay, that's not gonna work then. I switch these and then spin that. Spin that there. Are you actually doing puzzles? Let's find out. Alright, okay. You know what? I'm not doing this now. I'm not doing that now. I'm going to go talk to the other people. Yes. Let's go talk to... Um, what? Make sure what's up. A hole. That's cool. We won't go that way, Nancy. Something tells me there's going to be a lot of you're almost going to fall to your death in this castle. Uh, uh, Matt's friend should be here, right? There he is. Hi, you must be Nancy Drew. I'm Kit Foley. Ignore the eye if you can. Walked into a door the other day. Looks worse than it feels. I'm a bit surprised you're still here, given the circumstances. I was going to say the same about you. I'm not about to leave Kyler here by herself. Until she comes to her senses, I'm staying put. What do you mean, comes to her senses? Matt isn't playing a practical joke, and he hasn't been kidnapped by fairies. He got cold feet and left. It's as simple as that. Are you, Are you sure? sure? Well, Matt didn't come out and tell me he was leaving. But hey, I am his best friend. I know him better than anybody. I mean, he loves Kyler, but she can be a handful. And he's no pushover either. Their relationship is so tempestuous, it scares him. She thinks once he makes a real commitment, everything will be fine. But he's not so sure. So, he bailed. That's a lot of speculation to make about somebody. Without saying anything to her? I'm sure he'll contact her in another day or two. In the meantime... She's in a raging state of denial, and I, for one, don't see any harm in allowing her to stay that way. I seriously doubt he walked out on her for good. It's just that for Matt, marriage is way too much, way too soon. Hmm. Yeah, how come you sound so American? How come you sound so American? Because I am American. My father's VP of International Sales for Krollmeister Incorporated. The company transferred him to London 15 years ago. I've pretty much lived there ever since. I just can't seem to pick up the accent. Hmm. How did you realize Matt disappeared? Uh, let's, when let's do or that. how did you realize that Matt had disappeared? Kyler and I went for a walk, came back, and the next thing I knew, Kyler was saying Matt was nowhere to be found. Where did Where you, did last, you last see him? In the nursery. 
He always seemed to be in the nursery fiddling with things. Whenever I'd tease him about it, he'd always give me this impish little grin like he was up to something. When I checked the nursery and saw that Matt's suitcase and backpack were gone, it finally dawned on me that he had left and he wasn't coming back. Of course, by that time, Kyler had convinced herself that he was simply playing one of his practical jokes, and I couldn't bring myself to burst her bubble, so I didn't. It looks like you're drawing something. Are you an artist? Me? Not hardly. I'm with a real estate development company. These are just preliminary sketches for a couple of projects we're working on. In other words, I'm doing homework. Residential estate? Residential, residential real estate or commercial? Mostly residential. And let me tell you, we'd have a field day with attractive land like the one this castle sits on. Ocean view, easy commute to Donegal, bedrock foundation, readily accessible groundwater. That bog's a bit problematic, but a little sand, a little gravel, a little landscaping, voila! A cluster of six, maybe eight luxury homes amid a park-like setting that would sell like lightning. Hmm. That sounds a bit like a motive there to me. Do you think Kit. I could borrow your lantern? No, I don't. Sorry. You don't? Okay, then fine. Good talking to you. See ya. Rude. I, I can't just go snooping around. Not with Kit right there. Oh, sorry. I just assumed that our bed was over there, Nancy. Jeez. Calm down. There's a fortune teller thing here. I... I, I don't have money. I don't have three coins for that. Okay. Uh, what's on this? Ooh, what's on there? Okay. That's for that weight puzzle. Is that a printer? I shouldn't go messing with this without permission. All right, I won't go messing with the printer without permission, Nancy. I have to leave. Uh, I guess. Let's see. I haven't talked to Miss Lini. Uh, took a really good look around the library. All and done. Found Kit Foley. Dealers with that three to scale thing in the library. Find out that if anything the token of them. Oh, well, I can clean that out. Can't do that. All right. I guess we've got to go down to the screaming banshee anyway. Come on, Nancy. I take it if I stray too far, something bad happens to Nancy. Don't want that. Right. I'm this way? No, not that way. Okay. This way. I can't... I can't... I can't go there? How do I get there? Do I have to go in the day? Do I ever get to play in the day? How do I get there? Um... Well, I, I, I guess I'm gonna go do a puzzle then. Let's, let's go to the nursery. And over here. What oh. is that? That's what I'd like to know, Nancy. It won't stop. I feel like there's a record, there's like a recording device or something. Okay. There. Oh, there's three missing still. Okay. Can I look out the window? Nancy. Why? Oh, is that Matt's cot then? I could do that puzzle, I suppose. Um, hmm, no, I don't need that. Uh, oh my god. For, <laughs> that's such an active banshee, <laughs> you know? Wow. <laughs> hmm. Oh, oh. Okay, 
Okay, that's not quite it, I suppose. But we've definitely got a match there, so. Oh, I wasn't done going around. Hmm. Try and figure out this puzzle. No, that, that's not how that works. That's not how that. Oh no! Don't take me out! Oh no! 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 Okie dokie. Not, not that one. Okay, so far so good. Okie dokie. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that one deserve it though. So close. So close. Oh, it's so close. It should be correct, duh. It's so annoying. No, that one does that one doesn't fit. I did it! Oh my goodness, I did it. I'm going to take so much of that out, but I did it. I it didn't get much out of it. It just, I knew it, it wasn't worth it. It just wasn't worth it. But I got a cog. Lupin. Lupin. Why can I look at this? But then there's nothing that I can... Something I can interact with. Okay, let's go talk to Kyla again. Nancy, splendid timing. I yeah? just thought of something you can do for me. There's an old fashioned printing press downstairs. Have you seen it? It's so big, it's pretty hard to miss. It came with the castle. My great uncle Brendan had all sorts of gizmos and gadgets and machinery lying around. Anyway. When I saw the printer, I told Matt, why not save some money and print the programs for the wedding right here? Uh, problem is, Matt failed to get them done before he turned into the merry prankster. And since I have the mechanical aptitude of a bacterium, <laughs> would you mind finishing the job for me? You'd only have to print three more sheets. And the plate, the ink, the paper, everything you need is right there. No problem. Thank you, Nancy. You're the best. <laughs> Great, but I did, did you actually print the want to rest of the programs? You. Not yet, but I will. Anything else to report? Thank you. I would like to talk about some things, <laughs> Kyla. Jeez. I found these glasses in the fireplace in the nursery. Those are mats. You found them in the fireplace. Did you look there when you were searching for Matt? Of course not. Why would we look in the fireplace? Matt never, ever took his glasses off. Mostly because without them, he can't see two feet in front of him. I feel that. Did he have an extra Did pair? he have an extra pair? It's possible. Any normal person with eyesight as bad as his would have had ten extra pairs. But how did those get broken? Oh, Nancy, maybe he truly is in trouble. Let me do some more looking around before we jump to any conclusions. The glasses could still just be part of an elaborate, practical joke. You're absolutely right. Please find him, Nancy. I do so want to strangle him. 
I'm sorry, but I'm like that and I don't have 10 pairs of extra glasses. I don't even think I have one pair of extra glasses. If Matt's rich, then fine. Sure. But Kyla, you don't know what you're talking about. You are a fully sighted person. You don't know. You don't know. All right. Uh, yeah, if Matt was staying in the nursery, where is his luggage? Right there by his cot. It's not there now. But it was there, just last night. I remember seeing it when I peeked in to see if he'd finally decided to reappear. At least, I think I saw it last night. If it's not there now, perhaps Denol moved it, took it to storage or something. Because I know I saw it after Matt went missing. So it's around here somewhere, just like he's around here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Hmm. He decided to hold. Did you know when you decided to hold your wedding here that half the place is pretty much rubble? Oh yes. Mind you, I didn't even know that Castle Malloy existed until Grandpapa died and I was notified that I'd inherited it. At which point the executor of his estate sent me pictures and assured me that despite its appearance it was in fact habitable. Hmm. It looks like a bomb went off in it. No doubt because one did. <laughs> one summer night in 1944, this place, or half of it at least, just suddenly blew up. It was rumored that my great uncle Brendan was working on something that involved a new kind of rocket fuel. He was killed along with his wife and young daughter. Apparently they all just vaporized. Which, I guess, is why Denol claims the nursery, where the little girl spent most of her time, is haunted. Interesting to know. I'll let you get back to your reading. Get back to your Keep reading, me posted. darling. Interesting story. Be a dutiful maid of honour and print those three programmes. Uh, fun nursery. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't have anything new, Nancy? Okay. I think I will save. Second chance? Oh yeah, it auto saves. They're, they're missing stairs. I, I had if Nancy could fall through. Okay, I think I'm going to end this first part here. We have gone around the castle. We've looked at all the rooms available. I tried to go to the inn and I don't know how to get there yet. We talked to Kyla. We talked to Kit. I struggled through a puzzle. We found some things and it's, you know, it's going pretty well. Kyla is in... Oh, oh, poor Kyla. She's not even reading. She's just looking for Matt. Bless her. Anyway, I subscribe to join the party. Booty slap that like button with consent and leave any comments in the dungeons below. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in the next video. Love and like.